Welcome back. In today's community conversation, we have Gustavo Reveles, spokesman for the Canutillo School District with us here to talk about the bond proposal that will be up for a vote here on May 4th. And by the way, early voting is actually currently underway. Gustavo, thank you so much for being here with us this morning. Thanks for the invitation. All right. So this is a $387 million bond. You've told us part of that money is going to building new schools and to renovate some existing campuses. What else is at stake here? Well, the main focus of it is really addressing school repairs and safety and security for, this, for our school systems. Uh, we, we had a committee of about 50 people, parents, teachers, students, come to us and tell us what they wanted on this bond. Every single project on this bond was crafted by them, and those are the, the, uh, the issues that they, they brought up. They wanted to make sure we addressed school repairs, growth, and safety and security. And so we know that some similar bonds have pay, failed in the past. What is the district intending to do if this one does not pass? What are the next steps? Well, unfortunately, we're going to have to consider some budget cuts and, and school closures, program cuts. That's part of it. And so speaking of the budget, so we do know that the deficit, that there is a deficit uh, at CISD. Mm -hmm. uh, what is that amounting to? Uh, $9.9 .9 million right now. Okay, and we know that a dozen positions have been cut, but what else is being done to bring that deficit down? We're looking at, uh, uh, cut? I'm sorry, I'm having, we're looking at, uh, at, uh, at school closures, we're looking at cutting more positions, okay. uh, and, and unfortunately that's where we're at. Okay, and so something else that I know we had reported in the past is um, there was a question as to there's a coming up trip to a TASB, mm -hmm. which is a convention here that a lot of districts go to. It's costing the district $100,000 to send some students there. The question would be, how does the district, how can the district afford this when you're under a $9 million deficit? Well, that's an invitation that was given to us, and we're looking at other options. We're looking at other options of... Uh, Partnering with other school districts to see if they want to partake in this okay. and see if they want to share in the costs. Okay. It's something that the school board needs to consider, something that the school board needs to approve. Okay. So that's that's an approve uh, that's the where we are right now. Not it's not it's not approved yet, it's not okay. funded yet. Um what are what is the district doing to keep uh, the community in the loop as far as going back <laughs> to that bond that you're looking to pass? Mm -hmm. How can the community get involved if they have more questions, if they're still wondering whether this is something that they want to vote for? What is it that the district is doing? So we are uh, having meetings at every school. We're having meetings uh, you know, not just at schools, we're having meetings where people gather at parks, at uh, uh, community events. Uh, and making sure that we're addressing all the questions. We're going out to the community, we're addressing all these issues, and uh, we wanna make sure that the people have, uh, that the, they're armed with the information they need to, to make a decision. You know, this, this is a big ask, and we wanna make sure that they have the tools they need to make the best decision for their family. So, so we're going out there, we're gonna be at Bill Childress Elementary School tonight, we're gonna be at uh, Community Parks this Saturday, uh, and we invite people to join us, to come to our website. Uh, we have uh, uh, on our website tons of information, access with frequently asked questions, and a uh, way for them to contact us as well. Okay, awesome. And we'll have a link to all of that information also on kfoxtv.com. Gustavo, thank you so much for being here with us thank this you. morning. Uh, we'll have a recap of this community conversation also on kfoxtv.com and past community conversations. But for now, we want to go ahead and switch things over here, send things over to forecaster Hannah Frescas for a look at her weather. Good morning.